Here's an acting job. $2,000 a day. Two days work. Must have a six pack. Must have no previous experience. Must be over 18. Hmm. Uncle Tommy, are you happy? Yeah, sure. Are you? Sometimes. But then I wonder if it's really happiness or just a lack of negativity that poses this happiness in the void of emotion. Oh, what's got you down? I'm struggling in school. Since they won't let me skip grades, I'm bored and not doing my homework and failing classes. Never underestimate the value of a good education. And if you master math, you could be an engineer. If you'd get a firm grasp of the English language, you could write best-selling novels, and if you got a master's in history, you could teach history. I always get 100% on my tests. I just don't do my homework. It's boring. That's important to always try your best. You don't want to cheat yourself. When I was your age, they said if you don't want to end up flipping burgers for the rest of your life, you got to do well in school. Did you do well in school? Yeah, not exactly. Oh. Yeah, but I mean, my life turned out alright. You're spending a Tuesday with a child over whom you have no legal rights. Hey, I went to a very good college preparatory academy. What went wrong? I went to art school. Why did you go to art school? Well, that's the same thing I ask myself every time I write a student loan check. Yeah, they told me if I didn't want to end up flipping burgers for the rest of my life, I needed a college degree. So I followed their antiquated advice and I went to college. I got their precious degree. I graduated out into the, one of the worst recessions in history. There are no jobs out there. And then they turned back and looked at me and said, like, oh, what, you think you're too good to flip burgers? You know, this country can't survive on minimum wage, let alone make student loan payments on seven twenty-five an hour. You know, my, my generation is the most connected generation in the history of the world with unlimited access to knowledge and entertainment, and you were the most depressed. We're actually the first generation expected to do worse than our parents. You, you, the baby boomers made us, you know, both biologically and the way they left us with a destroyed planet and devastated economy. And they, they have the nerve to call us the worst generation ever. They say we're a bunch of Lazy, entitled, narcissist. You know, I, I am not lazy or entitled. Thanks. Anyway, when we were your age, they told us that if we want a fighting happy life and family, home, you gotta go to college. But you don't have a good life. Excuse you? Megan, that is very rude. Last time you babysat me, you got drunk and whined about being alone. You had me Tinder for you. True. But, uh... Alright, I guess. The moral is... Don't follow your dreams. Your dreams are stupid. Just play it safe. Go to state school, get a degree in something practical. Okay. Hmm. And if you want a fighting chance, you gotta get a master's, because a bachelor's today is no better than a GED in 1970. I like hanging out with you, Uncle Tommy. Thanks, I like hanging out with you too. Your clear and present misery is a beacon of light in my void. It shows me that it's not too late for me and things can still get much worse. Good. I'm glad that's what I'm here for, apparently.